What's up, YouTube? This is Gavin Pikachu, and I'm going to make you a supercharger phone with smart tech. Pikachu, use Thunderball! Have you ever wondered if you can use a motion sensor switch in a three-way circuit? Absolutely. You might have seen some product description that says, no, it will not work in a three-way circuit. Well, you can ignore that, because I've had it working for over a year. I'll go over the, my setup in a bit, but what I really wanted to cover in today's video is to attempt installing two motion sensor switches on each side of the three-way switch. Why do I need this? I'll show you in a bit. All right, I'm gonna show you my motion sensor setup I have for the entryway of my house. Right in front of me is the front door. Across the hallway, we have the garage door. There are three recessed lights in this hallway one, two, three, and they're all controlled via a three-way switch. The first switch is next to the garage door right here, where I have a neutron occupancy motion sensor switch installed. The lights turn on immediately after coming in from either the garage door or the front door. And it turns the lights off after five minutes of inactivity. In order for this motion sensor to work, the second switch in three-way switch setup must be powered on at all times. So let's go take a look at the second switch. The second switch is right next to the front door right here. That's the right one. I have a CASA switch installed partly because I have OCD and I wanted these two switches to look the same. The one on the left right here controls the front porch light outside. By the way, I highly recommend installing a smart switch or a motion sensor to control your porch light or balcony lights because I always forget to turn them off. With a smart switch, you can schedule them to turn off after five minutes, so then I never have to worry about leaving my front porch lights on again. If you're interested in smart actions or smart home routines, I plan to share some of my favorites in a future video, so subscribe if you want to be notified when that video comes out. Anyways. Back to the switch so we can keep talking about motion sensors. The main reason why I decided to turn this into a smart switch is because my wife sometimes accidentally turns off this switch when she's actually trying to look for this switch, which turns on the front porch lights. Prior to installing this smart switch, the power source for the motion sensor on the garage door side gets shut off because this dumb switch is off. And we end up standing in the hallway waving our hands like dumbasses trying to turn on the lights. With this Casa Smart Switch, I can schedule the switch to turn on every 6 hours, every day. The sole purpose of this switch is to keep the power running through the motion sensor switch, so it can do what it needs to do. This setup has worked pretty well for us in the past year, however it's not perfect. The problem is actually the motion detection range of the sensor. This area in front of the front door can sometimes be a dead zone. So you can see I'm moving left and right, and it's not triggering the motion sensor. A couple of times, I came down the stairs to open the front door to greet our guests, and the lights just refused to turn on. And it's a bit embarrassing. So I'm going to try to fix this problem today by replacing the front door switch with another motion sensor switch. That's right, a second motion sensor switch in the same three-way circuit. As you can imagine, this setup can be really useful for various three-way switch setup in your homes. For example, you might want the staircase lighting attached to a motion sensor at the top and bottom of the staircase so that the lights turn on when you're approaching from either floor. Full disclaimer, I'm not a certified electrician, nor do I have a degree in electrical engineering. What I'm about to explain to you is based on my own knowledge and research of how light circuit works. You can use this setup at your own risk. I won't go over how a normal three-way circuit works. If you're interested in that, there are a ton of YouTube videos that explains it. Let's go over the wiring plan. Here I have a diagram with the power source on the left and the lights on the right. In the middle I have two junction boxes. The left one here is for the one in front of the front door and the one on the right is for the garage door. On the top there are two traveler wires. This is a standard setup for a three-way switch where you usually have a red wire and a black wire. 
However, I've decided to use blue to represent this black wire just for clarity. On the bottom, we have two yellow boxes. These represent the motion sensor switches. Both of them are connected to the neutral and ground. Pretty standard. Uh, the two lines we're going to be um, really looking at are the two black lines, the line one and line two, coming out from the two switches. So in order for the setup to work, we need to have constant power connected to both switch one and switch two, while both switches are also connected to the light source. So let's walk through this. Uh, with the power source coming, with currents coming through here, there's a three-way junction where power can go through both lines. So let's go to the bottom route first where the current continues through line one. This provides constant current into the switch. So if this switch is on, it's going to continue to bring the current down line two, then into the blue traveler wire, all the way into the other junction box. And this wire is connected directly to the lights. So if it's off, this whole path will not have any current. So for the second switch, again, starting with the power source, currents get flowing through here. Now the current's going to continue to flow through the red line. Nothing's stopping it from going through the traveler red line. It'll keep going here to the other side where it's connected to line one of the switch. So now there's constant power going into this switch. Now if this switch is on, the current's going to continue flowing through line two, which is also connected to the lights. If it's off, no current's going to line two. So with this setup, theoretically, theoretically the power should be provided to both the switches and if either one of them are on they should also turn the lights on so let's see if this actually works the motion sensor switch i'll be installing today will be this one the casa smart wi-fi light switch motion activated i really like casa because you can control it with wi-fi which means you don't need a separate hub and it works with alexa google and smart things I have about 15 to 20 of these switches installed throughout my home and they've been working pretty well in the past year. So I've been trying to add more of these switches throughout the home whenever they go on sale. They are heavily discounted uh, during Prime Days. I got this off maybe like 30-40% off just this past Prime Day. Uh, so I'm super excited to install this and see what happens. Let's start with the first box. So it looks like I did install a Casa 3-way switch here. There are two traveler lines on top, the power line, and then the neutral and ground on the side with a total of five lines. This other switch here is a single pole, which uh, there are only four lines. The new Casa Motion Sensor switch is also a single pole, so it's got four lines. It's really not intended to be using a three-way setup, but I'm going to do it anyways. Now let's check out the second switch. This is where I have the Lutron Motion Sensor switch. And this is how I've been able to activate our lights in my current setup. Uh, this is also a single pole switch as expected because motion sensor switch aren't meant to be using the three-way setup. Uh, as you can see back here, uh, this traveler wire here is not used. Okay, I finally got the switches all wired up. So let's check it out. So this is the mo new motion sensor that I've installed right next to the front door. Let's start with the power line, the hot wire. This is where the power is coming in from. So I wanna be able to provide power to both switches, which is why there are three wires attached to this knot. The first one is the one, the black wire here, that connects to the switch. And the second one is the one of the two traveler wires that goes back into the box to the other side. And uh, the other black wire on the switch is also connected to the traveler wire, but this time to the black traveler wire. So I'm gonna go over to the other side and check out the setup here. This is the one next to the garage, the Lutron motion sensor. Um, so remember that there were two traveler wires coming from the other box, this box. There's the red one and the black one. So let's start with the red one. So red one, is what was connected to the power source. This is where the current is going to come in from to provide power 
to this switch. So there's one black wire connecting to the red traveler wire to power this switch. On the other side of this switch, the other black wire is connected to this knot right here, which now has three wires, three black wires. The first one's the one coming from the switch. The second one is the traveler wire from the other side. And the third one is the wire that's actually connected to the lights in the ceiling. Now with the setup, the red one always has power because it's connected to the power source, which means this switch is always active. It's, it can actively detect motion. If it's on, it will pass the current continue. It will pass the current through this black line and into this knot, which is connected to the light source. That means the lights will turn on when the motion is detected. Now let's say this is off. No current will come through this line and it will not be powering up the lights. However, there's another black traveler wire that's also connected to the light. And that's the other switch that can power on the light. The other black wire there, uh, let's trace that back to the other one, just complete the picture. That black wire, traveler wire goes back to this switch right here. Um, the black one is this one, the traveler wire that's connected to here. So let's play the scenario on this side as well. There's current coming from this one. This switch is always connected to power. If this detects motion and it's on, it sends power through this black wire, through the traveler wire, and to the other side. Remember, the black traveler wire is also connected to light. So that will turn the lights on. If this switch is off, uh, no current will come through this black wire down here. So nothing will go through the traveler wire and subsequently there's no, the lights will not turn on at the other side. So I'm going to put these back in and do some testing. Okay, the plates are back on. Look how beautiful this is. Time to test it out. So I've already connected that light to the app, the Casa app. I call it the downstairs motion sensor or motion switch. So I'm going to turn it off from here. And if I move, the lights should turn back on. Here it goes. Perfect. All right. I'm glad that worked. So let's try that one more time. So the app has a little bit of delay where the status doesn't sync. So now it's actually synchronized. I'm going to turn it back off again. So I could wait for the lights to turn off by itself, but it's going to take a long time. So it's easier to just manually turn it off. And here we go again. Yes, that worked perfectly. So now that this switch is working with the motion sensor, let's check out the other one. So the other one is the original Lutron. Uh, I've turned on the test mode. So if you don't know, you can long press on the on off button and the lights will blink. Depending on the number of times it blinks, that's how long it will take for it to turn off. So one blink is actually test mode and it should turn off in about 10 to 15 seconds. Give it a few more seconds here. A few moments later. Here it goes. Come in. Turn on again. Awesome. So now I got both of them working. The motion sensor for the garage door and the front door, which means I can come down the stairs without having to worry about the guests not seeing the lights on. There we go. We got two motion sensor switches working in the same three-way circuit. I've been using this setup for a few weeks now and I haven't had any issues. The lights actually turn on when I start walking down the stairs. Uh, so that extra range from the second motion sensor was a really nice added bonus. Overall, I really enjoyed this setup and I would definitely call this a success. Um, However, before I end this video, I do want to call uh, a caveat with this setup. And that is when one of the motion sensor switches to stop detecting motion, it doesn't necessarily mean that the lights will turn off because there's another uh, switch that's also controlling the same light. Uh, so the lights will only turn off when both of the switches are uh, have stopped detecting motion. And that's totally fine with me because uh, that's essentially what I wanted. Um, 
I don't need to go manually turn off one or one stop the text exception. Uh, so in reality, it doesn't really matter. Uh, I, this setup is perfect for me. Um, yeah, so thank you for watching this video. Um, I had to include a little bit of extra content at the end if you're interested. Otherwise, I'll see you next time. Okay, I gotta show you one more cool thing with these Casa Switch. Here, I have my motion sensor switch that I just installed, makes the front door. And I have another switch here that is for the staircase. It has one on the bottom, one on the top, it's the rear switch. Uh, what I'm gonna do is when the motion sensor detects light, it's also gonna turn on staircase light. So I created a smart action in the app. This is the third tab on the bottom, the smart. I named it Unhome. And what it does is when the motion sensor switch turns on, it's also gonna turn on the entry stairs lights. So let's test this out. Uh, come back here so you can see both lights. Uh, the right ones for the entry, the other ones for the stairs. All right, I'm gonna turn both of these off. Okay, so now I'm gonna move to activate the motion. There we go. Both of the lights came back on and lights are welcoming home. So the other thing I did in addition to this action is that uh, the stair light, their stairs lights will turn off by itself after five minutes. And yeah, that's how you automate your home.